Bradley Adams' first season in the Steel City saw Georgetown improve from a two-win team to a five-win squad, highlighted by a Week 10 upset of Wilson in Florence. Not bad for us. It wasn't what we actually wanted. But the biggest thing we got to learn is we got to get mentally tougher. And we got to learn to compete. And we got to be able to compete against people that, you know, that we've been getting beat by uh, in the last few years. Georgetown has a new signal caller as Caleb Hughes takes the reins of the offense. He's got two experienced targets in Rudy Muhammad and Tariq Tucker. Keep an eye on a third wideout, A.J. Walker, the son of Georgetown basketball coach Stitch Walker. On top of that firepower, there's the two-headed monster in the Bulldogs' backfield. Julia Lunsford and Leonard Lee combined for 1,200 yards and 14 touchdowns. Both are back and will get holes open by an offensive line that Adams praised for its dedication in the offseason weight program. It, it makes you real confident as an offensive lineman to have two backs like Leonard and Julian that in case you do slip up a little bit, they have enough talent to to make up for it it's, and it's, 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 it makes you feel better up there. We got playmakers at wide receiver, we got great running backs, we got a good offensive line. We um we should be pretty good on offense this year. We just I just got to get the wide receivers the ball and let them do their thing and the running backs just hit the hole and let them do their thing. The biggest strength by far for Georgetown, the defensive line led by a pair of potential all zoners. Trenton Great Reed and Lee Sean Cromedy, who both proved they can make big plays in 2010. The Bulldogs should be in the postseason conversation in Region 8 3A. And they got to believe and, and know that they can compete and beat some of these other people that they're playing against. So the biggest thing is mentally uh, in the young men's mind.